everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved 64-bit mode survival with broken was mod version 1.15 which hasn't been released yet we just made some minor modifications uh, we will be making some a, a lot of modifications um, to it but we, we do need it tested so we we unfortunately can't release it yet um, that is that one there so that's that one okay so yeah so that oh uh, uh, didn't want to do that like I said we always get a little bit of lag here So this is our iron level part here where we are just making some uh, bits and pieces to the to the floor here and this is the part that we're going to be building on uh, next now I've got my space grill and I've got um, 40 bits of my space grill and hi Sid welcome I actually never thought of that, Sid. We'll, we'll have to call it the beta test. Yeah. We'll have to call it the beta, beta test. So, Sid just said in chat that we ought to put it 1.15 put beta and report bugs uh, because we are doing a major change. And as you can see, the space grill. I'm still not too sure about this floor. Um, I still want to get the glass done but we've got to change the glass recipe because of the sand until the sand is modified um, because we start wanting to use a lot of a lot of stuff so what are we going to be doing this this one I believe is here so we can take out I think it's 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 that block is it that block no it's not that block it's that block I ain't got none left. Well, so uh, there we go. That's where our power block is going. So have we got a power block. No. So first things first. Let's have a look what what we need. We need a power block. Okay. So we're gonna get power block. And we're gonna get a laser. So here we go. Power block. Laser. We actually need two lasers, but we're only going to have one at the moment because I just want to make sure that we've got the stuff there. Um, and you can see, I do kind of like the space grill, um, but I'm, I'm going to have a look. At, um, I did like I say I want to put my own blocks in but we, we were having a really really bad time um, just getting the lighting effect done on it um, we put that one there then we put our laser there that goes there right so there we go that goes there for us so that's our laser that will start powering up now this is what we're going to be doing so remember on the right side we will be using the slower conveyor belts And on the left hand side we are using normal conveyor belts so we're going to be putting in these three objects first and this is where what we're going to do and yeah it's it normally isn't used in long thing like Sid said but 
you know we we need we need like kind of a see-through floor ish because I kind of like uh, I like it but it, it kind of does we might just make make the glass and we might just see how it goes um, but yeah I, I do like this effect as well that is quite nice so now have we got a hundred units of tin no we've only got eight eight I can't understand why we're only getting a small amount of tin when we've got lots of tin so we're gonna have to go and check the tin line um, as well so but we're, we're not gonna lose focus we're not gonna lose concentration because I have a tendency to see something that is not working then I want to go and fix it before I've actually finished doing something else that I wanted to do so um, where are we so We need a stamp plant. We need an extrusion plant, which needs tin plates. Now, this is where we do go off topic, and we do take a look at the tin section. Now, that's copper. This is uh, tin, and we can take this bit out because I, I don't want those there I want it to look like the building is being supported but I don't want um, it to be cluttered while it's being supported now again we've got this sideways effect here we don't know why we've got this sideways effect but it's not a bug in the sense that it's not causing a problem because you're still getting it go through the wire and you're still getting it go through the bits and pieces here so we can't not copper right copper tin is this this is tin so what we need is we need to get um, what's in here tin plates so what we need now is we need to take this one off here and we need to put a hopper here sorry a hopper here because as I said this holds 10 we need to put that one there and we need to put that one there that is so now when we come to use our stamper plan on our on our tin and we're going to be using it uh, kind of now so we put that one there okay we've got the tin going there and we've got the stamper plant will now make us the tin it will fill up here and it will fill up here so we can have our our plates go and get sorted out so that's why we we've had it a little bit more room so you can see that when you do need the tin plates it, it's going to be done sort of yeah it, it kind of uh, is Sid but until they actually put the mirrors in the game um, or until we could actually make the make it ourselves there's not much that we can do about it so we're going to be waiting for our uh, plates here so you can see it's a nice easy little bit here we've got seven here we're going to be needing uh, eight I think uh, ten we're going to take the first ten anyway okay so we've now again got hypothermia but luckily we've got so many of these around here that we just don't have to worry about it but the problem is that if we use the, the light you've got to cycle all the way through to go and turn it off to get it on again okay so let's carry on with our build now so we have now can make the um, Ex extrusion plant we can now make the um, coiler plant 
we can make the PC assembler plant okay now the thing that is not in here which again in 1.15 we are going to move is um, if I can find it I don't know why it's in this section is the research assembler now the research assembler is going to be like I said moved um, because why do you want the final part in an add-on which is in your part for you and Arthur it doesn't doesn't make sense so we need a copper housing yeah copper housing yeah that can go there and we're getting hypothermia again we seem to be getting hypothermia quite a lot So we've got our copper, uh, copper bit. Um, we're now going to make the research assembler, which is craft there. Okay, so we've got that there. So we can now go and place down all these objects that we've got on here and you can see just how dull this low light is because like I said you, you've got to cycle all the way through it to get it back on and I've got to have it on because otherwise you guys ain't going to be able to see what I'm doing so the first thing that is we know that if we look on um, on this side yeah right opposite us we have got I'm gonna have to uh, just put these on the uh, info line we've, we've, we've got the uh, first object when I can find it is the coiler plant is last the extrusion plant is first. Sorry, the coiler plant is second. Oh, come on, give us a break. No way. No, absolute no flipping way. Is that. Yeah, well, you're flipping useless. You won't go to your bloody what's the name to go and get charged you know it should automatically go go to it as soon as it's charged right now where were we we were looking for the last part now where is it unknown cube types we don't know what that we, we kind of need to get rid of those I'll put those in the macerator that is an unknown cube type so we'll get rid of that in a macerator fluid magma glass um what else is there come on where are you i know i've got oh i know i've got it i built it there's a stamper plant so we want the stamper plant see this is where it would be nice if we could press a button and it would clean it all up for us and there's the PC assembler plant so let's go and put them down so the first one here is the extrusion plant because the extrusion plant converts bars into wire then we have a gap then we have the coiler plant which is wire to coil and then we have the PC assembly plan which is um, like so and I can't believe we are just going so quickly on this light it is just really infuriating and then on this side now you can see 
that the coiler that the, the stamper plant is not in the uh, same place as um, the other bit so we're trying to keep it so it, it, it comes to about the same place on all the time which is kind of there just because uh, we kind of find it neat like that and now we have to say right okay we've got the bits and pieces in here now this is going to be the big difference for us when we get um, all, all of these done because we started off with the copper there and obviously that's going to be going there and then the others are going to be going off but we'll work that out so let's see what is it we need now we certainly need um, a, a, a storage hopper so we need some more tin bars hopefully we've got some more tin bars yeah so yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna craft those uh, so we're gonna go and put that up because I, I need to make sure that we've got the bits and pieces now your that's a bit there one there so your hopper needs to be here okay now obviously you don't have to build it this way but because we're changing all the recipes you're gonna need it all automated you're gonna have to do it and this is the basic ones that we've, we've found to uh, work and then we're gonna have a look at some conveyor belts Right now, these are the. Oh come on! You are fucking joking me. Really, this light power for the torch is horrendously stupid. So we're going to turn it off, and we're going to go to F one, and we're going to put start putting torches down now this is what I can't understand it's black it's dark yeah and there's no light from the torch how can we have that so we can't have that so let's let's just go and get the dirt there and let's go and get some uh, crystals and we'll just do that because at least I can see what the hell I'm doing you know and that lights up the next level down there as well probably a little bit too much on the diamond bit let's try the blue okay so blue is a little bit better I still don't like the color um let's try topaz well that's bright um okay let's try a sugar light okay that's about the best one i kind of like that so so I can see and so you can see what I'm doing we're gonna put uh, two of those down so you can see I know it's in pink I like pink anyway so that's okay so we're now gonna go back to the conveyor and the reason like I said we use the basic ones is for the simple fact is we can control with the use of the basic the speed of these conveyors because we don't want too much in here because 
it just isn't um, correct to uh, have that uh, much and on this side you see we will have our other hoppers and we'll get uh, get all of that done and sorted but we do need to get lights worked out and stuff like that well they can't be working right Sid for the simple fact is if they were working right yeah when it was dark it would light up it doesn't light up and when it's properly dark okay. so I, 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 I'm gonna disagree with uh, DJ there they're not working right they do come on and off um, but they're just not working right that's what that's all I've got to say on the subject um, there's also another thing that we can do but again it's very it's very bright it's it's kind of annoying but we might kind of do it just to um, f flood an area and stuff like that now you can see here we're having problems because of the power and this is uh, um, one of the things that you've got to realize is that getting the power up here is going to be another problem so this is one of them where we might change the design a little bit on this but we're, we're not worried about it too much at the moment so what do we need now we need two mini hoppers okay now these also need to be set correctly because if you don't set them correctly you ain't gonna get it working correctly and that's if I've got the mini hoppers in I don't know if I've got the mini hoppers on the line so let's have a look um, there's a mini hopper I've only got one and there's our research assembler so we'll put that on there as well so mini hopper okay this needs to be set to remove only because you're removing something from there to put it into the um, research assembler okay so that tells us there you see that we've got we can have the iron plates near enough going and uh, sorry not plates the the PCB uh, thing is whatever they're called nearly going so that's um, is uh, all well and good for us so you can now see that we can see quite a nice ways um, across our board over here you can see we've got a little bit of a world coming and um, you know Henrietta is wandering around down there and stuff and this is the time now to think well we're going to be going eight layers up here do you want to go eight layers We've got one more layer to finish, which is the um, next one, and we need to obviously keep on getting stuff from here. But you can see that from when we first started, we've got an awful big base but the base is getting organized because I wanted to test something out as well but we're looking at we've done basic conveyors we don't need that we need normal conveyors now and we've got eight so we're going to shift and click and create control and shift and create eight of those and we need to make a conveyor turntable which is going to be the next thing on the list because in the last couple of episodes I was deciding how to get down to the um, deeper ores and there's a couple of ways that we can achieve this 
we can achieve this by using teleportation which is power or we can achieve this by um, lifts or we can achieve this by stairs now lifts need power teleportation needs power and stairs don't okay it's it's as simple as that now we're going to need a lift up to this level you can see that uh, we, we have stairs when we're building it I always love stairs I prefer stairs over any other type of transportation um, at the moment except for the teleportation teleportation because they are just just so cool that they, they, they really are right so we are now going to test a theory now I put in the lift for lithium okay you can see it's back there okay so this is kind of cool okay because now we can just go straight down to lithium and we dug the hole down and stuff like that and the lifts actually work quite nicely now you haven't got you don't get stuck it goes down it goes a maximum range you just step off and you can now just r run along to where the lithium is which is um, not here this is the lithium level okay this is the lithi li lithium level for us I believe just got to get myself at the right place yeah here we go the lithium level and you can see what we, we, we still go bits there and we can just pick it up like that and it's really really nice and easy now you can see that's at 135 but we we kept it at uh, a level where we knew we were gonna have um, some oh silver silver slime now M no V silver slime is I think uh, still tin alright but we can now get back up to here because it's powered yeah because it's powered yeah we can just go back up and I think that's a really nice way to to actually now travel because it's such an improvement it's really really is such an improvement and you haven't got to tell it to stay there you know and I think it's cool I think it's great it's one of the things I am happy about that uh, has had an overhaul and, a, and an improvement so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting rid of these and we're going to be getting rid of that one low frequency thread crash okay um, we're just gonna hopefully resume on that and hopefully we're not gonna crash out on that so we will be back very shortly hopefully it's that's not going to bugger us up for putting an unknown object in there but we'll have to wait and see we'll be back as soon as we possibly can so have fun stay safe and we'll see you soon Bye.